Hello guys, welcome to the free Salesforce career guidance by Intelogic. This is your school on Salesforce platform and uh, present on YouTube. YouTube. So we are going to see now today scenario number or part number 18 for real time scenarios based interview questions. And in this we will understand how to answer this kind of questions in the interview. So let us see one by one all the questions. Here comes the first question. What are the types of collection in Salesforce? So you can explain that in Salesforce we have list, set and map three types of collections. Next question. What is difference between list and set collection in Salesforce? So list is something where actually we can have the duplicate values and plus we have indexing available. But set is the type of collection where no duplicates and no indexing allowed. This way you can explain this question or answer this question. Let's go for next question. What is maximum size of list collection in Salesforce? So as such there is no such kind of maximum limit as per the current situation in Salesforce but everything depends on heap size and this is something around 6 MB if you go for the scenario and also we need to understand that uh, this 6 MB actually is useful in terms of like understanding the synchronous or asynchronous mode for example if it is synchronous then 6 MB asynchronous then 12 MB this is the maximum size you can say but again it depends on heap let's go for next question what are the DML statements in Salesforce so in that case you can explain that we have DML statements in terms of let's say for example insert update delete and delete absurd merge also you can say such kind of answer so absurd is nothing but combination of insert and update and merge is nothing but combination of update and uh, delete so these kind of answers you can give in the interview next question what is governor limit in dml statement in salesforce governor limits in the dml statements are like in terms of that we can specifically focus about the dml statements transaction 150 so in one transaction the maximum dml statements that we can have is 150 150 this is the limit set by salesforce and if you go beyond that limit then governor limit error will be generated 150 is the maximum size all right so please note this way you can answer all these kind of questions and uh, let's meet in the next video where we will see such kind of more important useful interview questions till then have a good luck for your interviews